here on a cool night at Wrigley, and we get set to watch Kyle Hendricks pitch for the first time since July of last year. Mets and Cubs as the Cubs go for the sweep. Brandon Nimmo leads off. Nimmo greets him with a base hit up the middle, and so the Mets have their leadoff man on. So a leadoff man on. Here's Francisco Lindor. Lindor lifts one out to left center, and Talkman comes over in the gap to get it. One out. McNeil takes low ball four, and the Mets have two men on. So Hendricks, who's had seasons where he averaged less than a walk per nine innings, issues a walk in the first inning. Perfect time for Pete Alonso. Two on and one out, top of the first inning in Chicago. Low and away, ball four. Tried the changeup that had Alonso out in front earlier in the at bat, and now single walk, walk. The bases are loaded with one out for Brett Beatty. And Brett swings at the first pitch and flies it out to center. The wind will knock it down. Talkman coming in. Nimmo tagging at third. Nimmo is coming home, and the throw goes to second base, and the Mets have a first inning run. The second time in the last 18 games that the Mets have scored first, Beatty's sacrifice fly makes it 1 0 New York. On the ground, that one to third, and picking it up and stepping on the bag is wisdom, and that's the inning. The Mets strike first. The professor is back in class. It's 1 0 New York. Cubs coming up to hit. And Carlos Carrasco will contend with them tonight. It's only his uh, fifth start of the year. His last start was against the Guardians. Gave up the three run home run to Na uh, Naylor in that first inning. He really had a rough run at it. Nico Horner homered through the wind last night. And Horner bounces one behind the bag at third. Beatty makes the long throw on a hop. And Alonzo secures it to retire Horner one away. Swanson, four home runs. He's driven in 20. Swing and a high fly ball out towards left center field. This one pretty well struck on its way. Dansby Swanson has tied it up. His fifth of the year, and it's 1 1. Well, the wind howling in, or is it just blowing in? Well, sometimes it doesn't matter depending on where you hit it. All right, Zach, we go to the second inning. Daniel Vogelbeck, very solidly built left handed batter. Fastball strike three called knee high outside corner. Vogelbeck didn't like it. That's out number one. Strikeout number one for Kyle Hendricks. Got him to chase. Back to back strikeouts. Again, there's that uh, glove side changeup he's able to throw away to a right handed hitter. Lifted to center. Tuckman started back now in towards the shade and he makes the catch. Hendricks gets him 1 2 3. We're midway in the second. It is 1 1. Jeff McNeil to the plate with two away. Neal, and he flicks one in the left center field and that's down for a base hit. Hap comes over and cuts it off, so McNeil has his first hit in the series, a two out single. Pete Alonzo is next. And Alonzo floats that one behind shortstop, and that's going to fall for a base hit. So on the changeup, Pete got enough of it to dump it in the left field, and the Mets have back to back two out hits. So two out and two on, and now Brett Beatty, who drove in the Mets' run with a sacrifice fly in the first inning. And he pulls that toward the hole. Base hit. McNeil around third, heads for the plate. Suzuki's throw will go to third. Alonzo arrives there safely, and the ball gets away. Down to second goes Beatty. Alonzo holds it third. It's 2 to 1, New York. So Brett Beatty with both RBIs for the Mets tonight. Stuck one through the right side, and the Mets with three straight two out hits take a 2 to 1 lead. So Beatty to second. Alonzo's at third. Here's Starling Marte. Reaches for one and pokes it in a right of base hit. Alonzo in. Here comes Beatty. He'll score. It's a two-run single for Starling Marte. And the Mets have put together a three-run third inning all after two out and nobody on. Four to one, New York. Hap lined out to right his first time. Fly ball, shallow left. On comes Canna. Long run, and it drops. The wind kept grabbing it and bringing it back toward the infield, and Canna just couldn't get there. And Ian Hap has a base hit. Down low, and that's ball four. And they're loaded. And here comes Tockman with the bases full. Tockman rolls one slowly. McNeil comes in to get it. And Carrasco gets out of trouble in the third. Cubs leave him loaded. 4-1 New York after three. 4-1 Mets, top of the fifth. That's up the middle, and McNeil's got his second hit of the night. A walk and two singles for McNeil. And the Mets have a one-out base runner in the fifth. McNeil's been the smartest hitter on the field. Line drives. Inside, and Alonzo is hit by the pitch. So the Mets have gone a few games without getting plunked. They still lead the league. It's their 29th, and Alonzo's on base for the third time tonight. And that's going to be it for Hendricks. So his last pitch is the one that plunks 
Alonzo and after 86 pitches and four and a third innings in his season debut Kyle Hendricks work is done first and second and one out the hot Brett Beatty there was a sack fly and an RBI single in this game has two more ducks on the pond for him runners go and the throw to third goes down the left field line and McNeil will come in to score the Mets run a double steal with McNeil and Alonzo and Gomes throws it down the line and it's five to one New York. Swing and a miss. Got him on a 3 2. And there's two down. A bouncer to first. Fielded on a belt high hop by Mervis. Has to race to the back in time to beat Marte. Hughes was late covering. Three unassisted. That ends the top half of the fifth inning. It's 5 1 New York. Here's Jeff McNeil with one away. Swing and he slaps it the opposite way. A base hit. It's a three hit day for Jeff McNeil. He takes a big turn at first base, but he pulls up there. And the Mets have a one out base runner. Here's Pete Alonso. He hits one of the air to right, chasing Suzuki back into the well near the wall, and it's out of here. Pete Alonso goes the other way. His second home run of the series is 19th of the year. A two-run shot, and it's 7-1 to New York. Vogel back at third, Alvarez at second, and Nimmo lines it into right center, a base hit, and that'll bring in two. Vogel back is in. Alvarez will score. Nimmo round second. He's going to try for three. Horner's relay throw to third. Not in time. It's a two-run triple for Brandon Nimmo. 9-1 to New York. Well, there's Lindor's first hit of the series. That brings in Nemo to make it 10-1. to Lots of changes. That guy's on the mound. Tucker Barnhart, his second career pitching opportunity. Hits a fly ball to right. It's going to be caught by Suzuki, and the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts by Tommy Hunter here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Two down. And Mastro Borny hits one about six inches, and Nito throws him out to end the game. And thus the Mets win a laugher and take the final game of the series in Chicago after dropping the first two. Pete Alonso hits his 19th home run. Mets had 15 hits and they wallop the Cubs 10 to 1 behind Carlos Carrasco.